throughout the universe, there's one great law. Uh, okay, there's two great laws. And that law is, wait, three. There's three great laws. But the greatest law of all states that survival in space is all a matter of luck. In the case of Spaceship One, the luck is all bad. And no one knows that better than Mike Blast or Dave Boom, the courageous pilot and co-pilot of Spaceship One. Tonight's episode, That's the Breaks. As we tune in today, Mike and Dave are readying Spaceship One for its next excursion. What the heck did I do with it? I had it in my hands 10 minutes ago. That was actually like 7.8 minutes. Yeah, Holly, if you're so smart, then tell me, where is my pre-flight departure checklist? It's under the wheel of your chair. What the stink. It. Why didn't you just tell me? Because you didn't ask. Honestly, Holly, you sound more like my ex-wife every day. Well, Mike, I got all the provisions loaded. What have you been doing? Reminiscing about his ex-wife. Well, I've just been going over the pre-flight departure checklist. Yes, like 11 times. Nobody asked. Now, all we need is our next assignment. Ooh, maybe that's our next assignment. Screen on! Clean messed him. Uh, it's no wonder I've been pulled up in that kitchen so long. If that's our next assignment. I'm gonna need me some new boots. That's the wrong screen. Communication screen on. Good morning, Commander. What happened to you, sir? I just had my wisdom teeth pulled, so I figured it was time to give you your next assignment. Your command is our wish, sir. Why, when I hear you two, do I feel like I'm about to christen the Titanic? You do know that on your last assignment, you blew up half the fleet, so now I don't have anyone else to send. We blew up half the fleet? wonder where the other half was. Oh, you'll never find out from me. Because we're short-shipped, I have to send you out to the nefarious sector. Someone's been putting slugs in the galaxy soda machines. Hey, Mike, weren't we just in the Nefaria sector? Quiet, quiet. I know it doesn't sound like much, but intergalactic law is intergalactic law. We'll do our best. Okay, but I was hoping for better than that. Ugh. It's time to re-up my meds. The meds you take for your toothache? No, the meds I take to deal with you two. Space Command out. Wait, aren't we going to see the end of the movie? The guy in the black hat dies. I hate it when someone spoils the ending of a movie. 
Now let's get this mission started. Ignition engaged. Boosters loaded. GPS pointed towards nefarious sector. And... I bet you left the parking brake on again. I did not leave the parking brake on again. This time. Okay, Jesus. I'm just trying to help out. Let's try this again. Ignition engaged. Boosters loaded. GPS pointed towards nefarious sector. And... You sure? Dave. Okay. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, I see now. We need to adjust the deflector shield 24 degrees north. Done. Deflector shield adjusted. Ignition engaged. Boosters loaded. GPS pointing towards nefarious sector. felt an extra jolt that time. Something worked its way loose. Give it another try. Hey, are you guys okay? We're fine, Hoffman. Are you okay? I would be if this hadn't hit me in the head. What is that? The parking brake. Someone must have left it on. Well, take that back to Al. He can replace that while we're on our way. Okie dokie. I told you to check the parking brake. You told me. I'm glad you agree. Apology accepted. That was not an apology. Well, apology accepted anyway. Screen on. What can I do for you, Dr. Neverheel? Not what you did to Hoffman. Just what did you do to Hoffman? I didn't do anything to Hoffman. Then where did he get that bump on his head? It's the size of a Venusian Caca bird egg. Dave did it. I did it? That's okay. You apologized. I did not apologize. Well, you should. It was pretty nasty. But I didn't do it. I suppose he did it to himself. Would you believe me if I told you he did? No. Well, I guess I did do it then. Well, be more careful, and Hoffman has to be off duty for 24 hours. 24 hours? 24 hours. Sick bay out. See what you did there? I'm not talking to you. And now there's a call coming in from the atomic boiler room. I got this. Boiler room screen on. Yes, Al. Don't you yes, Al, me. Okay, no, Al. Look what you did, you knuckleheads. I didn't do it. Dave did. I did it. Apology accepted. I did not apologize. Well, you should. Look at this mess. Do you have any idea how difficult it is to replace a parking brake in mid-flight? I think you pull back the widgets so that the doodad is geared back far enough to catch the whatnot so you can insert that parking brake. What he said. Okay, as long as you understand. Al out. <laughs>
Disgusting creatures, kittens. Ah, the weirdness really bad movie with Dave Binkley. I like him. Gladys says he's a comic genius. Go to weirdnessreallybadmovie.com. I'll have to check that out. This anniversary. Give us two months salary, and you can give her a rock. Anniversary. 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 You forgot. Sweetie Pie.
The upper class. Ooh, I like the upper class. We'll give you a pass. Give me a pass? Why would they do that? Why would they give me a pass? If you are not sporting, eh? Sporting what? What do I need to sport? Nelson Snodgrass. Nelson Snodgrass. What's that? Upper class hood ornaments designed by Nelson Snodgrass. Oh, I like that. This could be you. Remember? Nelson Snodgrass equals upper class. The upper class will give you a pass if you're not sporting a Nelson Snodgrass. I like the upper class. And hood ornaments equal the upper class. Wait a minute. Where's my hood ornament? I'm not the upper class without a hood ornament designed by Nelson Snodgrass. Various sector, an infestation of rogues, miscreants, and bounders, where all the ills of character fester into debauchery and demoralized hedonism. All these institutions seem purposely invented for the production of depravity and vice, condensed to such a degree that no other conditions could produce it. And for the spreading of this condensed depravity and vice broadcast amongst the entire galaxy. Ooh, they have miniature golf. Can we go play miniature golf, please? Please, please, please. Oh, yes, yes, are you one to? We can go play miniature golf. But after the mission, after we finish our mission. There's a stranger coming in the room with Hoffman. I didn't know there was anyone stranger than Hoffman on this ship. Who is that with you, Hoffman? My card. Jet Bach, intergalactic mouthpiece. Where did you find this guy, Hoffman? I don't know, man. When the break hit me in the head, I knocked over my rock collection, and he crawled right out from under it. My card? I already have one. I know. I want it back. Those things don't grow on trees, you know. Actually, they sort of do. Is that your space car? Very pretty. Just, what are you doing here, anyway? Well, there is the matter of physical injury to my client. 
Hoffman, did you hire this guy to represent you? He said I did. See, he got hit so hard. He doesn't even remember hiring me. That's brain damage. Brain damage on him would be an improvement. Look, if he got hit that hard, why is it the bandage on the wrong side of his head? The wrong side? Yeah, it's on the wrong side. I had his head bandaged that way on purpose. He got hit so hard on the head, I thought his brain was going to fall out the other side. So let's talk compensation. Oh, I don't think that will be necessary. No negotiating. <laughs> then shall we say 25 million credits? Dave, would you like to answer him yes or no? That would be my honor. You just blew up my space Uber, and I had a pickup in five hours. Did I do that? That's going to cost you another hundred million credits. Oh, I don't think so. Why not? I absolve all inhabitants of Spaceship One, human, android, and otherwise. And otherwise? Hoffman's goldfish. Oh. From any responsibility for the destruction of my space Uber. It was a space accident due to an unscheduled meteorite. I'm not signing this. No one would believe it anyway. I'm sure that anyone in this galaxy or the next is going to believe that we two would accidentally park in a meteorite zone. And we have two androids and one ship computer that would witness your signing. So sign this, and we'll drop you off at the next space station we pass by. And if I don't? If you don't sign, we'll just have to set you adrift in space. And you can hitch a ride with the next intergalactic cruiser that comes your way to take you back to the space rock you crawled out from under. You're bluffing. You would never do that. Uh oh. Ah, I snap an idea about the ramp What's going on? What do 
did he do now? Oh, what's that? Thank <laughs> you. 